Today's task is to install solar. Uh, it's going to be quite a task because the, the solar panel that I bought fits exactly here. Um, the funny thing is that it, uh, I can't really say it's bigger than I thought it was going to be because it's exactly the same size I thought it was going to be, which is one meter by two meters, which should fit right here, across there and up here. And it's going to be, I'm trying to mount it on a hinge so that if the sun's over there, I can lift up the hinge and still get a really good charge. Uh, but when you see the solar panel at um, one meter by two meter, you're like, holy shit, this is big. So that's what we're doing today. Yeah, oh, it's easy. There's a lift under it. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's swap over now. Get that distance because a hinge will fit there. Right. So, so yeah. This is the the, the so output. Well, three inches. The earth symbol. Not sure how we're going to accomplish that. What tools have we got? We're at home base to find some hinges. Hinges. Yeah. They don't have any hinges. Okay, this is a little weird. They've got everything here apart from hinges. <laughs> you. <laughs> So, if this panel comes out, yeah, that might be the one. Which is those two screws. This will just pull out with yeah. the, that, and then pull out these two screws. Yeah. Then this yeah. panel will drop, and we should be able to see the, the see roof the up there. Yeah. I'm going to get this end out first because right. The good news is that this panel easily came out. So now we have access to the back of the panel that is immediately in front of the flybridge that we're going to mount the panels onto. And hold the wood so you can see it's kind of parallel. Alcohol free beer. Who'd have thought? We have like made a place for the big panel to go on and we're now just making the frame to fit to the uh, actual hull of the boat and then fix the uh, solar panel to that frame and this is actually real glass it's not plastic which makes it a little bit vulnerable but i think once it's in position it'll be it'll be good What I'm trying to do now is fix the one piece of wood that the panel is going to be attached to, to the, the roof up here. So that's firmly attached. And once it's firmly attached, I'm gonna put a strap across the whole thing so that it's really secure. Because if you just get one big blast of wind come through, it could tear the whole thing off and I don't want that.
Luckily, there's a really good Chandler's just over the river, so I go there quite often. I was just checking the, uh, the diesel tanks again to make sure there's no water in them, and look what I found. That is ugly, nasty, nasty water. Now, I've filled the diesel tanks up with diesel now, so there should be less condensation. One can hope. This control unit is not big enough to handle the power from the, the big panel. So I'm trying to get uh, another one, but if you buy them new, they're ridiculously expensive. So I found one that's used, that I'm trying to get the guy to post it to me. Hasn't done it yet, but he said he will. Well, I connected the new solar, solar charge controller in. Um, this is the, goes to the panels out the front, and this goes down to the battery. But, it's just flashing blue occasionally, uh, which means it thinks there's not enough power coming in, but I know there is. But it doesn't have any controls on it. It's like, you just plug it in and, and then it's supposed to work. After a little finagling, some compromises, some squeezing, some pushing, some pulling, and general questionable engineering, I have managed to install a solar panel on the roof. Um, it's not fixed in right now, this is just for security, in fact it needs tightening down a little bit more. Um, but uh, it, it's up. It's not wired in quite right because you don't really want to wire things in until you know they're going to work. Otherwise you've got to... Oy. Otherwise you have to pull the wires out. So we're, we've got temporary wiring here. And then, see that little light there? Absorption. I'm not sure why they called it absorption. Um, but that just means that the, the batteries downstairs are absorbing power from my, my solar charger thing here. Um, this came from up, up north somewhere. Um, I could have gone to the actual company and bought the £385 variation, which seems like a lot of money, but um, I chose not to. I went to Facebook and found a very good equivalent for £100. A very nice chap in Lowestoft mailed it down to me and I saved myself £300, which is good. The solar panel was remarkably cheap. I only paid 140 for the whole panel and then it was about another 60 to ship it down because it's a big heavy panel. It arrived on a big pallet thing. Um, and then my friend Sharp uh, helped me install it. So... I now have 410 watts in sunlight going into the controller and then going into three large leisure batteries downstairs. I would like two more leisure batteries, so I'm probably going to spend another £150 on two more batteries that give me probably two two and a half days of battery power for the computer, TV, some lights, other stuff. Um, obviously you can't run heating and air conditioning from that, but that's for when I'm plugged in or when I'm on the generator. All in all, I'm, I'm very happy with that. It, it did need a little bit of hammering, but we got there in the end. And here is the finished product. Um, there's a little bit of a leak. It's not my fault, actually. It was the um, the boat got a little bit... Uh, I mean, it's 34 years old, so it was leaking a little bit here, so I've had to put this plastic. But um, here's the panel, and it works, works amazingly well. In this weather like this, it'll produce about 100 watts, and when it's bright sunny, it'll do about 400 watts. Uh, it's been so useful. I've even managed to charge up the boat batteries with it from nothing to enough to start the motors which was got me out of a tight spot in Calais uh, but um, very happy I'm very very pleased I installed these it wasn't difficult I wholeheartedly encourage you to put 
sorry, it's a bit noisy, um, to put solar on your boat. It just, it really helps out.